Hi everybody! Hey everybody! Welcome, Welcome back. back to the dumpling-filled uh, adventure known as Harvest Moon. Dumpling-filled adventure. <laughs> yeah, one every day, right? <laughs> Welcome to the adventures in Dumpling Land. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's not Dumpling Land though. Oh, it's not Dumpling Land. That's not what we called this place. Oh, what did we? Did we ever name our ranch? Um, I don't know. El Rancho Relaxo. Oh, like, I like whatever. that. Like uh, in the Simpsons, Simpsons. I like that. Yeah. Rancho Relaxo. I like the Simpsons. Bigger. The cows, dude. What has happened to your cows? Uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna go off on a very unpopular opinion here. I like the Simpsons. I like the Simpsons, yeah, I do. I do. Only the longest running, well, one of the longest running television. I know. Days. I know. I mean, I I haven't watched it in years. Yeah, neither have I really. I don't think many people have though. Uh, I I mean, they're still on the air for a reason though. Yeah. There are some really diehard Simpsons people. I feel like a lot of them, too, just watch it so they can complain about how good The Simpsons used to be. Well, I mean... <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna watch this, but I'm not gonna like it. They're, uh, they're, they're not wrong, though. It used to no, be a fantastic... No, I know. I, uh, I agree, but why keep watching it? That's what I'm saying. You're paying with your view. Um, or you're voting with your view, I guess. Because they still love it. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. It's just not as good. You know? That's true, yeah. And I think a lot of people who... I guess I was never, like, that hardcore married to The Simpsons that I would continue watching it to this day. I've seen, like, most of the first 20 seasons, especially because Jack owns a lot of them on... My brother Jack owns a lot of them on DVD. On the DVD. So we would watch those. You know, I um, actually... I don't... I... I don't think a lot of people who still watch it today think that it went downhill that much. Right, otherwise they probably still wouldn't be watching. That's, yeah, good. That's a good yeah. point. The, uh... I did enjoy the movie. I did, I went and saw the movie. That was, like, the last I had, good, I had a fun yeah. time. I had a fun time at the film. The last yeah. bastion of Spider good Spider pig. Spider pig. It was good. Does whatever It was very under the does. dome with uh, Stephen King. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Um, no, it was, it was good. I, I liked it. I, I'm really... I stopped watching probably around season 10. I yeah. can't remember. Yeah. I just remember, like, watching who... Oh, there Ooh. we go. Ooh, got a message. That's professional. Got a message. That's what we're doing. Uh, it'll be born sometime later. It'll be born sometime. That uh, is there anybody? Sometime is there later. anybody in the village that you want to become friends with, or? I don't know. We could, but what's um, the point? Yeah, I mean, at this at this point, I don't know if at we if we can have shot. if we can make enough friends or have enough points to get the perfect. I mean, you know, who, we're not getting the perfect ending. This is the fortune teller lady. Yeah. Maybe she'll tell my fortune. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Lessons of love. Present. Marriage. Marriage. Items Item for, for marriage, marriage for, proposal. Oh, she's the blue feather. Stuff. She's the she's that. the she's game facts. Oh she is? Within the game, yeah. She's the help desk. Diary. What is the diary? Conversation. Important to talk nah, I don't care. Important to talk to a girl that you love, dude. It's important. It, That's how you get hearts. <laughs> That's how you get heart points. And and how you get fart points is fart by points. Tootin. Tootin' up a storm. Mm -hmm. The, by the way, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay. Uh, when this is up, Earthbound's done, right? Earthbound's done, dude. Yeah. Earthbound is over. Congratulations, everybody. We made it. We made it. Thanks for sticking. The impossible was possible. Thanks for sticking through. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's been a long time. Believe in me. Especially since, me. especially since the second longest series that we've ever done was Link to the Past, and which was, was 54 episodes. And I thought that was going to die after that. And this one was 126. Oh, going to bed. Yeah. Over a fifth of our total videos mm -hmm. at this point. Just Earthbound. <laughs> just Earthbound. But that's all right. I mean, I, I <laughs> that's okay. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed no, it. it was good. The thumbnails look good, so. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh! oh! It's so about the one time. that you bought, the one that you bought grew up quicker. So oh, it's probably good. you don't get the added boost of the milk from yeah. the adult cow, but you do get another cow sooner. So maybe, maybe that's the plan: is just buy them from now on. Whoa. Do why? Oh, I guess. Because it takes less time. But then she gets time. super milk, right? But I can upgrade her to a bigger milk, right? That's true. I mean, you you can you can do yeah. that to get the quick big milk yeah. upgrade, but it's just going to take a couple more days for, for the, the cow. cow to be fully grown. Yeah, which is okay, right? Um, yeah, I mean that should be fine. I mean, what's 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 uh, what's uh, 
I'm just thinking it's like six to one, half a dozen to the other. You either lose money by not having a cow that can give milk, or you gain, or you, um, but but you have one that has bigger milk. Yeah. Or you have two cows giving you smaller milk. But I guess it, in the long run, it's probably better to have cow adult cows that give bigger milk. Right than away. Have, than have more adult cows that give smaller milk. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do the pregnancy thing. Maybe we'll yeah we I should. Don't know. How much money you got? Uh, enough. Maybe. Do you have five grand? I think so. Six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, you do. We could do it. Yeah. You gotta make sure to remember to buy a medicine too. Yeah. All right, we got another chicken. Ooh, food, all so. those chickies, dude. Time to sell a chicken and can't do it in the make a cow. No. Oh right. But I can sell a chicken or sell an egg. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. So Those chickens eggs, really actually. like getting in your fucking way, don't they? Yeah. They just don't I'll care. just move into this square where you can't I appreciate me. that, though. So you just throw an egg on my head? The ultimate troll. The chickens? Mm-hmm. Chickens in this game, yeah. Chickens in this game. Sometimes I feel like the control. shipping bin moves on purpose. I mean, I know it doesn't. <laughs> it obviously doesn't move at all. But you throw something expecting it to go in, and then it just, like, crushes on the side of it. Yeah. I hate um, that. What were we talking about before? We were talking about Earthbound. The Simpsons? Simpsons. Earthbound? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I remember watching when television used to be the thing that you had to watch. The television event, the Who Shot Mr. Burns. That's all you had. Oh, my god. You didn't gosh. have the Netflix or that the... That was so good. The Netflix or the... Or the... The, the, the Hulu. Netflix or the Jell-O the Hulu. I don't think we ever watched anything on Jell-O. Did you? Did uh, you? I watched the Jell-O commercials with Mr. Cosby when That's I was true. younger. That's true, yeah. J-E-L-L-O. It's alive. Remember that? I do remember that, yeah. Dude, I, I was a jingle sponge when I was a kid. Ah, Big Bear I was Manilow a jingle fan. fucking sponge. Where we lived, Pizza Hut had these commercials. I was a fan of law. Had these commercials a fan of them. That's uh, Will so and Grace. my parents would yeah, I know, I've seen it. My parents <laughs> I watched Will and Grace. We talked about how TV was the only thing you could watch. Yeah. You didn't get to decide what was on. Will uh, and Grace was a funny show though. It was funny, yeah. I like Jack it. and uh Just Jack. Yeah. And well Megan Mullally is yeah. amazing. She's Karen. phenomenal. Yeah, Karen's, Karen's amazing. Great in that. And she continues to be amazing. Yeah. She's in uh, Bob's Burgers. Mm -hmm. She's also she was in Party Down. She's in a yeah. She's in a. She lot was of stuff. great in Party Down. She's great. Made me want to party down. Um, the what else was she in? That's I don't remember. I was telling a story though that I forgot. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jingles, Jingles. There was a uh, when I was a Baby kid. Hello. When I was a kid. Uh, my parents used to ask me what I wanted for dinner, and instead of telling them, I would just like recite the jingle. So give this to from the, the commercial. Give this to the cow. Yeah, give that to the cow, and Not then that. I'll, no, give that, that one first. Okay. And then it should do that, and then give it the medicine. All right. Okay. Cool. cool. It should be three days then. All right. Cool. That's perfect. <laughs> so my parents would be like, "What do you want for dinner?" And I would say, "Call four eight 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 eight. Pizza Hut delivery is really great." Oh yeah. That's like the worst jingle too. I know. Well, I mean, that was just an example eight of one that great. I of one that I remember from. My I know. Childhood. I'm not saying that, that that's bad. I just <laughs> oh, saying the that person the who jingle, invented the jingle. Yeah, well, but it, a, it's a it's a it's, but it was the fucking '90s. It yeah. was the Wild West of jingles. Well, no, dude, <laughs> the jingles have been around forever. I know it was still the Wild West of jingles. You could say fucking anything in in the '90s. My favorite is I remember Sardella's, which was a pizza place in uh, Phoenix. Yeah, Sardella's pizza and wings. Only Sardell just makes my favorite things. Ooh. Book nine, or no, it's a uh, 10.99, two large pizzas to go. I'll buy the ultimate, ultimate wings and pizza combo. Dude, that's not, that's a long ass, that's not a jingle, that's like a full tune. I know. It's a full great. song. You, you haven't even heard the bridge. No, oh, there's a bridge. <laughs> and the coda. Yeah. <laughs> And the, then it goes to a really long, like sort of oh, yeah. flowy. Look at you! Look at you! Look at that! Look at that pregnant cat! Oh, you're pregnant! Oh, trying to move! Oh, you're moving! Oh, you're trying to move! What a cutie! I still need to to feed the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, no. Important. Brush it, right? Oh yeah, still brush it. Still brush it. I do not think you can get milk from it. I don't think so either. That's just that's just unconstitutional. That's just weird. Trying to milk a pregnant cow? Yeah. What are you, what are you a monster? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could try it, but... I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Four out of five of doctors recommend that you don't uh, milk your cow while it's pregnant. I want to know who the one out of five doctor doesn't. 
Schedule date has already passed now. I have to let them in the shed right away. What? That's the glitch. Remember that happened yeah. last time. All right. When they give a birth? Yeah, when they give a birth. All right. I think <laughs> I think that pops up when they're when they're pregnant outside. Yeah. And you go past the, the uh, scheduled due date. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's where the glitch happens. Is oh, it thinks that the cows like okay. outside or something? You look fine today, pudding. It's kind of Put strange. Me. I like it. It's good um, stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. So, uh, it's going on to a different topic altogether. Different topic. Um, so, the Rogue One trailer. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's talk about Star Wars. Yeah, uh, let's talk about Star Wars again. The, uh, Rogue One trailer came out not too long ago. Yep. And, uh, somebody actually asked us what we thought about yeah, it. Yeah, Vril. Vril asked us what we and thought. And so, we're going to tell you what we thought about it. We, uh, I mean, I laughed on it. <laughs> Oh no! I'm kidding. It was oh. really. I, I liked it. A lot. We haven't discussed this yet. If that's your opinion, <laughs> no. I actually really liked it. I don't remember that. Dude, I like I that it's loved uh, it. I like that it's in the era in between six and seven. Oh, it's very dark forces. Or not six it's and very, seven. Uh, three and four. It's very dark. Uh, dark forces. It's very uh, expanded universe. Very light, uh, legend. Yeah, legend. It's Legacy. Good. Yeah. I really, I'm, I'm more and more just fully, full on believing that the reason they put all the expanded universe into legend was so that they could like copy the stories, change the names, and like keep all the royalties. Yeah, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm like pretty positive that the reason Disney decided to do that was so that they could use all of the existing like themes and 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 uh, characters and stories that happen, and that's why you see so many like similarities between the expanded and why a lot of people are drawing. Similarities between expanded universe characters and characters in the new movies. Well, yeah, totally. I mean, they, they're but see, they instead of having it all be fact, they're just able to cherry pick everything. Right. They can just decide yeah. what they want for the yeah, film. Yeah. They're going to use the best of without, these stories and these stories and yeah, these stories yeah. without having to compromise yeah. their storyline and without having all. to pay any of the authors' royalties. Yeah. <laughs> Smart so. move, Disney, <clears throat> from a business standpoint, I guess. I mean, those people are still going to get the authors are excuse. Oh yeah, and they're and they're <coughs> still, gotta get money, money, money because those people are gonna are realize selling, that it's yeah. yeah. Those books are still selling. All right. Jack actually was reading reading an X Wing series or something. Yeah. I don't know if it's a new thing or uh, if he's reading Is just the old actually? expanded universe stuff. Yeah. The uh, well, there was X Wing Starfighter series. There was uh, a couple of them that I wa I didn't read a whole bunch of the expanded universe stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't read a lot of the novels. I read a, quite a few of the like the graphic novels, the comics. Yeah. Um, I read I, I read the a, ones that were about Han Solo and Chewbacca. Yeah. And I read the ones. Did you read that, the one about Mace Windu? That book about Mace Windu? No, I read the. Or you read the Revenge of the Sith. I read the Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, novelization. And that goes more into his character, doesn't in, it? Yeah, into Mace Windu, into the fighting styles, really, which is really interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I have, like, the... I have the Jedi Path book, which is the book that, like, comes out of the... the the box thing, the little motorized box thing. Oh, yeah. Have you not yeah, seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, like, a, the Jedi the Jedi about. Path. Yeah. So it's, like, all about just Jedi. And then I have the Sith Holocron one as well. It's really cool. They have a Bounty Hunter one that I want to get. The, yeah, the Bounty Hunter book was cool because it actually, or the Boba Fett book because it actually shows him surviving the Sarlacc pit. Right. And so that was like the best feeling yeah, that's in the world badass. because Boba Fett has been one of my favorite Star Wars characters for Yeah, well yeah, and just like getting time. getting to, to watch him like succeed where you thought he failed. Yeah. It's really cool. Remember when, uh, remember when uh, Django Fett was, oh! That was like two days, dude. Speaking that was like two of. days. You should name it Boba. Mm -hmm. Yes! Yes! Boba! Bo Boab? Boba. 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 Um, like yeah, Django Fett came out, and then everyone's like, cool, it's just like another Boba Fett. That's great! And then it was just not. It was just not another Boba Fett at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he kind of was, but then Mace Windu just shot... It just sliced his head off. <laughs> yeah. That was so cool. Really quick, yeah. yeah. Well, Although, I mean, it's kind of like... What do you expect? Oh, what? I thought it was supposed no, to be that's a big milk. No, that's a bigger milk compared to... Oh, is that bigger than before? Yeah, it's bigger than it was before. I thought you just automatically went to Jumbo. No. No. Oh. Maybe it wasn't worth it then. Maybe it wasn't worth it. Maybe, maybe we'll tune in next time. See yeah. how many days it takes. Maybe it's not this day, maybe it's tomorrow that the cow no, gives bigger milk. No, it's not. It took a while for the jumbo jumbo milk. Okay. 
Well, we have another cow. Yeah. That's five. Yep. Yeah. So we're, we're raising an way. empire. <laughs> we are. I mean, with uh, Ky Kylo. A cow empire. Boba. Fuck yeah. Oh, Fuck. we should actually talk about the Dark Forces trailer. The, or not Dark Rogue Forces, One. Rogue yeah. One trailer. <laughs> uh, no, I really like the Rogue One trailer, though. I thought Dude, it, it looks really badass. Nice. It I looks bad. Forrest Whitaker looks like he's gonna be uh, just the coolest guy. Well, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard that the female, like a lot of people were like, uh, as the as the culture does. Are people still being the, pissy about the female, the female lead? lead yeah. Thing. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, though, or if that's just a thing that one person commented on and then somebody and, wrote five articles on. Right, so, right. The, well, I think, and I, think that, cool. I think that it's pretty easy to say stuff like that, too, because it happens so frequently. Because people did fucking flip out about the main character of Star Wars being a woman. Yeah. To the point where, like, toys aren't even made of her. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, that, that's crazy, really and so it makes sense to me that people would still be upset because there's still those kinds of people out there. The Rogue One trailer looks sick, though. I think that oh, looks people badass. are misinterpreting it and Thinking that she goes to the dark side, right? But I don't. Think even she though does. Rogue is in the title, yeah. Even yeah. though she's like, she's probably infiltrating something. Even though it looks like she's absolutely some sort of like spy the for absolute, the rebellion, yeah, yeah, the absolute. Like, There's like no thing. reason for us to believe whatsoever well, that really she's cool evil in any way. It's taking a genre yeah. heist movie, basically, right? And then taking it. Into well, the and Star that's Wars what's universe. so awesome about these like in like these other films that aren't part of the trilogy. Yeah, because they can take completely different thematic. They can elements turn into genre movies. That, yeah, that don't like necessarily fit the Star Wars formula. Because they're not supposed to. They because shouldn't have to. it's not all about the fucking Jedi. It's not God. all about the fucking Skywalker that's, family. That's actually probably the thing that I'm most excited about with this, is yeah. that it seems like there's no... Maybe Darth Vader is, like, looming... You know, sure. or he's like he's like the big, like, bad, like, man behind the curtain sure. for it. But he's not... I don't think that he's just going to be, like, ever-present in the Like the movie. main bad guy? Yeah. yeah. That wouldn't I just don't sense. think that he's going to be. The, uh, it's, it's gonna be all just people. Right. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be people in the universe that we get to see this side of the story. And fighting and fighting and having a puncher's chance at fighting, yeah. you know? It's, it's not all voodoo and crap. That's why, like, Han Solo or, like... It's not all like, voodoo and crap. <laughs> and Han Solo's one of my favorite characters, and Boba Fett's one of my favorite characters. They're my favorite characters because they're not Jedi. Sure. Most of the time. Like, the Jedi is just, like, an OP thing, you know? And, yeah. Which is why they have to be tempted by whatever, but... But, I mean, that's also why they only, like, especially in the beginning, in the first movie, they only gave us one. I know, it's so good. But, like, that's why the original trilogy, I think, works so well, is because you don't just have this, like, society of overpowered people who are, like, well, trying to everyone the being, like, at but, their but, beck and call. But one, of my, but one of my favorite parts of that is watching how that fails because of their own fucking, like, hubris. You yeah. Because they think that they know because they're the fucking Jedi. They're like, well, we know what's going on because we have these powers, but they completely miss it. They completely miss everything, and that's what, like, Palpatine counts on and exploits in them, you know? And that's why it's cool, but I agree with you, like, it also is, it's like... like the like, least cool part of the movie. Well, for you, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, though, yeah, like, for yeah. you, that's fine, and that yeah. makes total sense. Uh, I personally love the Jedi. I think I, that they're really... I think that they're cool, I just don't think that they're, like... I think that they're probably too much. I think that that's... I think that the Jedi are really what set it apart for me from other things, I guess. Because, like... I don't know. I've, I've read other... I, I haven't read anything that quite is like... Or seen anything that, that is quite like what the Jedi are, I guess. But I have seen, like, bounty hunters and smugglers and, like, normal people doing yeah. these things. In, no, you're And right. other things. So, I think the Jedi are, is what sets Star Wars apart, but I also think that it does those characters, oh, individual characters, to... justice as well. Am I gonna be able to sell this chicken, you think? With, like, Han Solo. I think so. With Han Solo and Boba Fett, and yeah, stuff like that, they do they do make badass versions of like the smuggler and, yeah. and the bounty hunter. I do hunter. think that the Jedi have the oh, I oh can't, it's, it's Sunday. Sunday I can't sell it. Oh, you can sell oh. a chicken to that guy, can't you? you? Just drop it on his table. We'll try it. Um, I think that the Jedi maybe they're not the worst part of it. That's I think I'm <laughs> a little harsh, on it. but I do think that they they're overused. Sure. Um, and in the original trilogy, they weren't necessarily... Yeah, I mean, the, the, they're not the only thing in the galaxy. Yeah. And the fact that the movies solely surround them, I, that's, I, get, I get that point completely. And that's why I'm no. also extremely excited. Uh, go from the front, maybe, or just talk to him. 
Try putting it on the table from the front. I think oh, you have to be on his like mat thing. No. May or next to him, maybe? Can you put it next to him? Like on his left, maybe? Maybe you can't sell him chickens. I don't what is he gonna do with it? Just right? put it on the table over there. Yeah, I don't know. Eat it right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right. Man. Okay. Well, well, I'm really excited about the Rogue One trailer. I I, I'm very sick. excited. I think that it's, it's cool it. having having it. I love that they're not whitewashing Star Wars. I do think yeah. that it would be really cool if they had an alien be a main character. That would be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Like an alien, like an alien dude or an alien chick, be one of the main characters, like Chewbacca, kind of. Yeah. Well, I mean, Only, we'll, but not instead of like but not have a, Chewbacca, but have a like speaking have role, speaking active, smart, active, yeah, yeah, a role to it. That like, would be really cool. Like I the would next, love to see the that. next white guy that they cast, put him in, under cakes of makeup. There you go. You know, <laughs> like just do that, make and an then alien. and then make it so that the only white guy that they have N is yeah. caked under makeup so yeah. much. That you can't even tell that he, what he is. Right. That that'd be the dream. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. I would love to see like something that we haven't seen yet. What are the other ones besides the trilogy though? We've got a Han Solo movie and a Boba Fett movie yeah, coming out. Yeah. Yeah. So we're probably gonna get to see more Chewbacca. Yeah. Which is cool. Well, Chew Chewie's gonna be in the trilogy too. Yeah. The new trilogy. And maybe maybe in the Boba Fett one they'll do something. Yeah. Because he's a Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll go and he'll. Who, who the fuck knows what they're going to do with that? Who knows what they are Who knows? Because that, that's what I'm excited about is that there's a lot of unknown territory where it's like, fuck, we know what has happened in the well, expanded universe, but we have no idea what's going to happen. It's finally now. like, it, yeah, in the movie format, it's finally kind of like filling in blanks yeah. and kind of giving you things up, that you want to know. Tying up some loose ends. Yeah. And, and also, I love that it's just yeah. a one-off. Yeah. It's not going to be like a, a trilogy. No, it's not you get to watch the film and, and hopefully it's going to wrap up. It's going to be its own thing. Yeah, and, and you're this is how... This is how they got the Death Star plans to alter. Right, exactly. Yeah. That, oh gosh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be good, and you All know right. that they get away with it too. Right. Well, we've seen the movies. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If she, <laughs> I don't know if she dies. Spoilers. But. Spoilers. We we know that the Death Star plans fall into the rebel hands. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be good. Anyway, so we're super pumped for it. We I'm think very it's excited. Gonna be really good. I'm very excited. I we'll probably I make a tear blog of it. Rogue One was gonna be like Rogue. Squad I thought it was gonna be all fighter pilots. Yeah. I thought the movie was gonna be an entire. Like, I love that it's hand to hand movie. though. Yeah. Yeah, it's I love cool. that it's like it's it's in your face. The dude, she is beating up stormtroopers. Yeah, it's great. Well, and, and they're it. like, I thought you, you wanted, why are you like, doing that? Why are you calling it a rebellion? Yeah. I thought this was a rebellion. I thought this was a rebellion. I'm yeah. rebelling. Yeah, it's so it's cool. Really cool. Cool that character. Cool. So that's what we think about the Rogue One trailer. Yep, and if uh, we'll probably have more thoughts as the movie comes closer, yeah. and we'll probably talk about it on the show again because we do that a lot. We we'll talk right. about Star Wars. So thank yeah. you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye bye. Dude. dude, I'm feeling it too. I'm really excited. That trailer gave me goosebumps when I watched it. It's gonna be good. Especially, especially Force Whitaker. Especially when she like turns around and she's in the in the Imperial, Imperial thing. thing. It's like, yeah. oh, stuff's about to go like, down. Oh, fuck, we're gonna get to see stuff that we've never seen in a Star Wars movie because yeah. we get to see that, that like their side of it. And you know, dude, we get to see like the bad guys. That side dude of it. walking with the white cape. Oh yeah, it's dude. gonna be good.